What's up, boys and girls? It's tea time. I'm here with Pat Hoban, and he just topped another YCS right off of his uh, Nationals victory. Pat, how does it feel? Feels good. So what did you use today? I played Dragoonities with Dragon Rollers. And how'd you finish? Third. Awesome. Can we get a deck profile real quick? Sure. Perfect. Um, I played 16 Monsters. I played one Red Eyes. Um, this card's not very good. I decided it out almost every game. Uh, three Ducks and two Phalanx. This card's really important, but it's searchable, so you don't, I don't think you need to play three. And then one Mistletane. Uh, this card's another, like, just bad draw in the deck that has, so I don't really want to play, like, multiples. It's bad in, like, a lot of problem scenarios where they're, like, stopping your plays. Um, and it's searchable off Tempest, so I think you don't really need to play more than one. Um, the Dragons, I played, uh, three of all of them except Tidal. Uh, the only bad hands are, like, the all-monster hands of the deck, so I don't want to play, uh, more monsters to contribute to those. Uh, I played Book, Gold Spark, two cards of Constance. I know there are only two targets, but like I said, they're searchable, so they aren't really dead very often. Two Terraforming, because Ravine is really important, and three Ravine. Three Upstart, 37 cards. Um, three Sacred Swords. Uh, this, card, this is probably the best card in the deck. It's very good. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, guys. One second. All right. Sorry about that. Things just got a little bit loud really quick. All right. Please continue. Yeah. Uh, I played uh, Return. Mm -hmm. uh, this card is insane. It's like. It's Would you say that that's the best card in the deck? Uh, it probably is. Like. Every time you draw it, you almost like um, almost certainly win that game. Uh, I feel like one trap stun, uh, just to replace heavy. I, honestly, I'd probably cut it. I don't think it was that good. Was it was MST just not as good of a choice? Yeah, I mean, with heavy band, people just set more, so MST is less effective when you're just like having to pick between three and then still having to deal with the rest. Mm -hmm. uh, I would I would definitely play this again over MST, but I don't think I would just play it at all. Um, bottomless. Warning. Two emptiness. I, I thought traps, like real traps, were better than hand traps because if there are like ten decks in a format or whatever, and being the first YCS of the format, there are going to be. I think I played eight different decks instead. Um, like jailers and maxis just aren't going to be effective against them at all. So traps are just safer. And then I played three reckless seed. Uh, this card's actually very good too. Um, if you draw two, you pretty much auto win the game, which uh, happens what, over 5% of the time. So just adding that on. A lot of people were arguing Maxi over uh, Reckless Creed. Um, can you tell me some of the decks that Maxi was dead against and uh, how, how you felt that Reckless Creed was going to be better than Maxi? Well, I just, um, I like that, uh, this, this isn't a card that would be bad against like any deck. I never started it out the entire weekend. Um, Maxi is just, it's not the best against a lot of decks. It's bad against spell list, which I think is probably a very good deck. Um, it's, it's good against dragons, but it's, uh, I thought, I thought dragons were honestly a really good matchup anyway. I think I played four and I beat them all. Uh, Maxi's not good against evil swarms, not good against constellas. It, it's not the best against Infernity, because they just get a barrier and stop, and then they had a plus one. Um, so I thought this was just, like, safer. Plus, you go through your deck, uh, so much with, uh, swords, upstart, uh, cards of consonants, like you're gonna see multiple instead of one. Okay. Yep, it was very sick. Extra deck? I played uh, two Drago stacks, mm -hmm. Big Eye, Gaia, Atum. Um, I didn't play any rank sixes other than Atum, like Bouncer or whatever, because I, I didn't play Zephyrus. I felt like Zephyrus was win more. It's, okay. It's only good uh, when you have like Ducks Mistletane, mm -hmm. and like you can already do enough when you have that. You don't need Zephyrus, and without those, uh, the other rank sixes just aren't as good. Why didn't you pick uh, Strike Bouncer? Uh, like you just don't summon other sixes. Like this is literally just you. You do it when you have the combo, and you just don't make rank sixes okay. when you don't have like the combo. Um, I played Scrap Dragon. Mm -hmm. 
two Stardust, mm -hmm. Colossal, mm -hmm. two Crimson. Why two Crimson? Just uh, for dragons. Okay. Like if you don't draw your traps, you can make your own trap. Mm -hmm. It's almost always a lot. Uh, Gator. I wasn't going to play this, but I found one scenario where I wanted it, where if I didn't have Ravine, then I could go Ducks, Special Phalanx, send Phalanx for Mistletane, uh, Special Back the Phalanx, make this card, and then search a Ducks to my hand and discard a Dragon Ruler, mm -hmm. and then um, overlay for a Tum, and a Tum Special another Dragon Ruler. And special back the dragon ruler I didn't have, mm -hmm. and make Drago sack, and then have a Tom Drago sack with a ducks in hand for next turn. That that was relevant when I didn't have a field spell. Okay. Uh, and then three Vadriana. Uh, so so you did not play Master Blades. No. Um, uh, can you tell me why? Uh, you just like you can't make Grink Sevens that much. Like your graveyard isn't. Mm -hmm. Um. Isn't it kind of auto win against um? Well, several decks, uh, including like Constellars, possibly Fire Fist. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely good against those. I think the extra deck is open. Um, like, there's something. I think I brought out two starters in once. I think the same with this. I don't think I brought this out, but I still think it's important for the scenario. Okay. And then, so I mean, I don't think it's a bad choice by any means. I just right. didn't play it. Just asking. Uh, for the side deck, I played two Veilers. Mm -hmm. It was, I mean. How often did they come in? Not very often, but they were good against the decks that I didn't, or that I was the most concerned with. They're good against Infernities, uh, Car, pretty much any deck that can just OTK me. Like Did those are the decks I don't, uh, I would prefer to not play against, and they were good against those. Okay. Um, three Typhoon. This is the only card I cited in a lot of matchups. Well, matchups mostly just have them as well. Uh, I play this card every game pretty big, but. And the white emptiness. Is, yeah, uh, okay. emptiness, like, uh, soul drain, just goes in rivalry, stuff like mm -hmm. that. Like, and even though I'm signing it every game, uh, game two and three, I'm not, those cards aren't main decks, so I don't, right. I don't think you need to main them. Um, I said three XYZ Encore. This is a really popular choice this weekend. Um, why was that? It's just, it's, it's the best out to Ophion. Um, you can, it's a quick play, so you can play it on their turn, and you get to pick the position of the monster that comes back. So if they attack with Ophion, you can play it and then special it in defense, and it stops the attack as well. Awesome. Yep. Uh, I played one Dark Hole. Um, again, mostly just for the OTK decks. And I played Eradicator. I don't think I would side this card again. Um, I think for the most part, Spellbook is a good matchup. Just because you have, uh, yep. you can just play the field spell. Or play your field spell over theirs. And um, if you're like able to make a field, mm -hmm. if you're Would you prefer them over trap spells? Uh, I don't know. Honestly, it was kind of a lot. I, if I probably just didn't main the trap spell, it just would have been all, um, good. But when I was signing like three MSC, I was signing out trap spells just because it was just so much. I didn't want to draw multiple. Understandable. What did they go in against the trees? Um, rogue deck, Constellars. Okay. And just one of the stuff. And uh, three needle chains. Now, what did those go in against? Uh, these go in against Infernities. That was like the main reason because mm -hmm. it lets them make a field. And then, like, you don't have to stop it or whatever. And then you set a needle chain, and then they go to draw for the turn. And then if it, uh, when they draw another variation card, you put your card in hand. And then okay. Stop it. So now I'm going to ask you a couple questions in general. Okay. Um, so what matchups were you most afraid of coming into this, and what did you think uh, were going to be the best decks? What did you think you had the best, the worst matchups for, et cetera, et cetera? Okay. Um, I thought my worst matchups and, like, the decks I didn't want to face, because, again, it was just, like, decks that could kill me. I didn't want to play against Evil Clone. I don't think I don't think Evil Clone was a bad matchup, but it was closer to like 50 50 than a mm -hmm. lot of other matchups. And um, the best decks I thought were I thought Inferno was a good choice. I, I obviously thought this was a good choice, but I, I didn't think other people would be playing it. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, and I didn't think Dragon Points were that great, honestly. Like, I, I understand you just won. Um, I played the winner uh, yesterday on Twitter. I thought his deck was better than like most of them. I'm not even sure if he picked him, uh, but he played like Steel Drains and like real traps. So I thought that was a much better deck. But were, uh, were were you afraid of getting blown out 
But, uh, were you getting afraid? Were you afraid of getting blown out by Max D? Um, a lot of the times with Max D, it actually doesn't matter that much because you can just stop this format. Most of the decks can't actually be killing you. Mm -hmm. um, so like, if I go Dark Special Phalanx into Max D and I get Crimson Blader, mm -hmm. I'm, I can be under Crimson Blader for a turn because most of the decks can't kill you, and then you can just like take point eight or and then like whatever other monster is coming and kill the ability. So, um, Max D just doesn't have as much of an impact. Like, it still hurts. Like, I'd uh, obviously rather not go Max D, but right. it's not that big of a thing. So, um, one last question about uh, the format is, uh, what do you think the sleeper deck is right now? Really? Yeah, I mean, I thought this was a really good pick. Okay. And, and, how did you, and how did you feel? And how did you feel about uh, the new prize card? Um, it's good. It's Cool. Wow. Awesome. Any uh, is there any last remarks? Anything you would have done differently about the deck? Anything you'd have done differently in general? Um, in the main deck, the only, probably the only card I would change is Trap Stand. In the side deck, I, n I never played against anyone in Trinity, so I never tried with them. But uh, I was perfectly content with just having like a 12 card deck. I probably uh, change those. I probably try Eradicator. Um, but I now the meta is more defined. I might play Max D somewhere between the main and the side deck. But I didn't want to play that for the first event where they just go so many different ways. Okay. Um, and did you think the fire fix was going to be dead and gone now? Okay. I don't think so. I mean, they're too fair. If you right. Think, like, they have to set back row and dead into the three mm -hmm. after a while. Right. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Pat. Congratulations on your third place. Uh, thanks, Apple Camp.